Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a PVC pipe water geocache. Uh, you'll see what I mean later in a video when I'm going to hide this. And yeah, so the materials you're going to need are a waterproof container. This one is a waterproof matchstick holder. You can usually find it in the camping section of pretty much any sporting goods or out, like a sporting goods store. <laughs> and um what you're going to have to look for is this little rubber gasket which obviously means that it's going to be pretty much completely waterproof 100 percent and with your container you're going to want to go to a hardware store or wherever you can get pvc pipe and find some pvc pipe that will fit your container pretty easily like so it slides easily in there as you see this one does this uh, happens to be an inch and a quarter schedule 40 PVC pipe and for this you're going to need an inch and a quarter end cap that is smooth on the inside you know one for just on the end um, an inch and a quarter adapter for a screw on cap and an inch and a quarter screw on cap to go onto that adapter You're also going to need some PVC cement. This one is pretty popular. I'm pretty sure they should sell it pretty much anywhere. Um, if you need to cut your pipe, you're going to need to have a saw with some a fine tooth saw that'll cut PVC pipe. And also, you are going to need a drill with some drill bits to go along with it. Let's get on into this. Okay, so I am actually going to make two geocaches out of this pipe. Because if you use this whole pipe, they would need way too much water to fill it up and get the cache. So, what you're going to need to do, or what I'm going to do, is measure my pipe with my tape measure. This one is 24 inches long. If you can see that, get that in frame. Uh, so that's 2 feet long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mark at the 12 inch, 1 foot mark, and I am going to cut there. So I've got my mark made right at the center, halfway through <laughs> of the length, and now I'm going to switch camera angles and cut it. Alright, so I put my pipe in a vise, which doesn't have teeth so it's not, this might go kind of bad, it seems pretty secure, but I got my saw with my fine teeth which should cut through this pipe pretty easily. If you got yeah, a PVC pipe like cutting carries. device for a PVC pipe, you can go ahead and use that, but I don't. So I'm just going to use this and see how it goes. So I got my mark right here, and we'll see, see if we can do this. Tighten it down a little bit. <laughs> Came out. go. It's not a very straight cut up and down, but it's good enough. You don't need it perfect. Either way, it'll be fine. Let's move on to the next step. Okay, so in this step, this is where your, your drill comes in. And I got my two halves of PVC pipe over here, but we're not going to need those for the next step. So you're going to want to get your smooth sided end cap and your drill and your drill bits. You're going to want to find one that's just enough to let some water through, like maybe a quarter inch right here. That, that'll just like let a little bit of water through, but not too much. And yeah, let's get to drilling. Alright, so I've got this clamp here, mainly because I don't want my hands or fingers being near this thing when I drill through it, because if it slips... I don't want it to go through my hand. <laughs> and um, so if you got a drill with one of these settings, with one of these settings, you're going to want to just put it on drill setting, which is it'll just keep going no matter what. It won't ratchet. And so what you're going to do, I put mine in clamp, obviously. You can do whatever. Just hold it. 
get it as centered as you can right about there just, oops, no it's not quite center <laughs> there we go and just start drilling I guess push down really hard obviously there we go That was uh, actually kind of really off center, but that's because the drill bit slipped a little bit, but you know what, that's okay. Okay, so like I said, this hole was really off center, but that's not, that's not a big problem. A hole's a hole, it'll still let water flow through. And yeah, it'll work for the geocache. So we got that, so we got our screw on end cap. We've got our adapter end cap and our container and our one half of uh, 12 inches of PVC pipe. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cement this on and we're gonna cement the end cap on with our PVC cement and that is what's going to make our geocache pretty much. Let's do it. Alright, so you're not gonna want your, your container or really your cap, screw on cap near this right now because what happens when you use PVC cement is the primer you put on and then you put the cement on and that causes a chemical reaction, forms heat and it melts the pipe slightly and once that cools the pipe, the plastic in the pipe will be bonded together pretty much permanently forever unless it's frozen or whatever but yeah so you don't want to get any of that on your geocache or the cap that you do not want to be permanently cemented. So let's open this baby up and let's get going. Okay, you gotta make sure I'm getting this in frame here. <laughs> there we go. And once I'm done uh, cementing everything on, I'm going to spray paint it. Probably green or brown, maybe even black. Uh, I'll have to decide what color depending on where I'm gonna hide it. And, um, yeah, let's do this. Okay, so, if you haven't used PVC cement before, there's a purple primer, at least with this brand, it's a purple primer. It should say primer. Primer. <laughs> and there is, this one's gold, a cement. And most of them come with the brush in the can, but some of them don't, so you want to make sure that you have a brush. I am going to start with this piece and this end uh, which isn't a huge deal but there we go like that okay so you're not going to want to let the primer and cement sit for a while once you apply them and yeah this one has the brush and can Let's see if I can open this here Yes, finally. Okay, let's do this now. Okay, got that open. Got that open. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna start with this piece, the one with the hole in it. You can start with whichever one. You just gotta make sure that you do it correctly. Okay, so take your your end and your pipe. Take your brush out of your purple primer. Run it along the inside of this. Get a nice coating on it. Run it along the outside of this. Put that back. Didn't get a good enough coating. Okay, now some clear cement, we'll put that on there, and we'll put that on there, and then stick the two together, make sure you don't get anything on your hands, like I just kind of did, but chemical reaction should be taking place. 
and it should be binding soon. Okay. Now let's do the other side. Please do remember that the, the primer, usually, this one does at least, has acetone in it, so that's not something you really want to be breathing in completely. So have some good ventilation, and yeah, just be careful. <laughs> Don't inhale too much of it. Okay, so now we're going to do the other end, the screw end. And obviously we're doing this end of the pipe, not the opposite end. This one, you can see I almost like, see if you can get that in frame. And now you can't see that. Some of the purple primers built into the end cap, but that's okay. Okay, so we do... Cement, cement, that back, twist them and put them on. Here we go. Alright, wait for that to dry and I'll go By to the next way, cap. Try and be careful with this stuff because I spilt some on the workbench and it kind of stained a little bit. That's okay. This workbench is meant for that use pretty much. So yeah, just keep that in mind when you're using this. Maybe lay down a towel or some plastic or whatever you can get dirty and it'll stain. But at least that's better than staining something that you don't want to get stained. Alright, so this doesn't look too great right now because some of the primer and stuff leaked off and made it kind of messy looking. But that's what we got spray paint for, you know? the real-life toucher-upper of PVC pipe. Okay, so here is the container. Here is the other screw-on cap that'll go on down here. And what the cacher is going to do when they get to the cache is the cache will be down at the end of the pipe like that. This will be up against like a tree or something. It'll be near maybe a water source like a pond or a creek. And They'll plug the hole, in the cache description it'll tell them to bring something that they can fill with water. This will be on when they arrive, hopefully not too tightly because if you tighten these down they're really hard to get off. And this will be on, it'll tell them to bring something for water. They'll open this up, fill up their container with water, Oops. Whoops. <laughs> plug the hole on the bottom, fill this with water, cache floats to the top, they grab it out. They let the water drain, open it up, sign the logbook, and then just drop it back in there and replace this. Pretty easy. Hopefully they'll know what to do when they get to the cache. If not, maybe I'll include some sort of hint that'll tell them exactly what to do. I don't know, but we'll figure it out. Alright, so yeah, that is how you make a water PVC pipe geocache. And right now, obviously, like I said, it doesn't look super good. But I am going to spray paint it, and in my next video, or I'm not sure which video it's going to be, but that will be a video of me hiding it, and then it'll be spray painted, and I'll show you what I did, and obviously show you how I'm going to hide it, and what I'm going to attach it to. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, or you've got some information out of it, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me greatly. Uh, please subscribe if you're new to the channel, and... Uh, just thanks for watching. See ya.